So Laurel, should he make up for the hundred push-ups we did yesterday? I think you should start with those. Yeah. You guys did a hundred katsu. Great recovery tool. It's a great way to flush out the, the toxins and lactic acid out of the muscles. Okay. All right, I'll yeah. shut up. Go for it. <laughs> Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and start the Instagram. Okay. All right. One second. Get that going. I'm gonna go on mute here so I don't interrupt like I'm known for doing. But I like you when you interrupt. <laughs> it makes it fun. All right, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Yesterday we had strength. Day. Today, we're going to pick it up uh, with a little bit more cardio. We're going to have some more of those heart boosting sessions in between each of our strength building exercises. Um, so go ahead and start your cycle. Bands are on. Um, I'm starting on medium today, but that's just me. Um, I've gotten in the habit of sometimes putting my bands on a little bit before the workout just to let my body kind of acclimate um, so I can start on a little bit higher cycle when I'm doing the workout. Uh, but do what feels right. It never hurts to take it a little easy as we get going. Um, once your bands are going, everyone grab your water and take a big sip together. And as Steve has told us uh, in previous sessions, a glass of water about this big before doing our workout is never a bad idea. So just food for thought. Um, always okay to take sips throughout the workout as well, and we'll take those breaks together. Um, so once you've had your sip of water, come on up to stand. And let's just start to take the hands behind the head and do some twisting, opening up the spine. And all of our work for the upper body today is gonna to be on hands and knees. So let's take this opportunity while we're standing to just kind of loosen everything up before we put all the weight on our arms. Good, go ahead and release the arms out by your sides, draw some circles, move the shoulders around. Wrists are underneath the shoulders. So the bands can work their magic. Good, other way. Good, and then clasp the hands behind your back, lengthen the arms down as best you can, lift the arms up and down off the back of the body. So active stretch for the biceps, for the chest, the shoulders, doesn't matter how high you can get, especially with the bands working, it's a little bit hard. We just wanna to start to open everything up in the upper body. Good, let's take four more. And three. Two and one. Good. Go ahead and shake it out. Um, I think I've met everyone on here, but if there's people that I haven't, and maybe those on Instagram, my name is Laurel, and I'm here live in my living room in Santa Monica, California, and we do these workouts every day at three, so we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, quick cap refill. Check. Go ahead and hold your palm up. Press the base of your palm. Notice if it goes from white back to normal within three seconds. If it does, we're good. If it takes a lot longer than that, you might want to loosen your bands up. Think one finger space between the bands. Any more is too, uh, too loose. Any less is a bit too tight. So starting work working smaller muscles to bigger muscles, we're going to come onto the forearms. And we're going to do a variation of the push-up just for our forearms. So in case we didn't do enough push-ups yesterday, I call this fingertip push-up. So we're gonna come onto that tabletop position and you're actually not gonna lift your knees for this one. I want you to keep your knees down so we can focus on the forearms more than any part of the body. So coming onto the very tips of my fingers, making a little tent. I'm gonna do two 40 second sets. I drop my chest down, 
and I push the floor away from me with my fingertips, okay? So first set, wrist underneath shoulders. Let's go ahead and get moving. Time is rolling. And for these guys, just think how much you can press into the floor with the tips of your fingers. And don't worry so much as how low you can go with the chest. Good. Nice. Feel those bands starting to work. If you want an extra challenge here, you can start to extend one leg back behind you, but we're still going to stay on the knee of the other leg. Good. Last 10 seconds. We'll extend the other leg on the next set. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful. Go ahead and drop that leg down. Give the wrist a roll. And we'll come into our second set. So make your way onto your fingertips. We're going to start with both knees down. We're going in three, two, one. Let's move. Drop it down. And all the way back up. Mm -hmm. Good. Starting to maybe see the veins in your forearms starting to show up. That's a good thing. And if you want that extra challenge, extend the other leg back behind you. Down and up. Good. Now the palms are really going to try and sneak down towards the floor. Don't let them. Stay on the tips of the fingers. You can even bend your fingers a little bit if that helps. Half done. Woo. Maybe those forms are starting to shake, and that's exactly what we want to see. Keep moving through it. Last 10. Let me see who's on here today. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Next step. Triceps. Double crab toe touch. So this time I'm coming down, rooting my hands down behind me. And I'm going to do two things. So my feet rooting to the mat. I tap my knee, tap my toe. Tap my knee, tap my toe. So two things, one arm. I keep my right arm off the floor. Tap, 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 tap. Okay? First 40 seconds. Wrist under your shoulders. No bend in the elbows. Try and keep them nice and straight. Get your hips up in three, two, one. Here we go. Up, up, tap, tap. That's the stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. And I want you to see how high you can get your butt off the ground. So give your glutes a squeeze. Get your hips up. Press the floor away from you with your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Good. Two taps. Knee, toes. Knee, toes. Press the floor away. 15 more seconds. Good. Feel those triceps working. Back to the arm muscles. Little baby guys, but we want to get them working hard. Last 10. Yes. Nice. We have five, four. Go, Justin. Three, two, and rest. Give the wrist a roll. Quick wrist stretch. Palm is facing towards you. Pull your fingers in towards your forearm, forearm. And then switch, other side, pull them in. Keep that arm as straight as you can. Root the hands into the mat. Second set, if you want more of a challenge, skip that first tap, just go hands to toes, up. Switch, switch, and switch, okay? Otherwise, keep that knee tap in there as well, in three. Two, one, let's go. Bottoms up, we tap, tap. Body should not be moving. Isolating those arm muscles, engaging the core so that we're keeping our butts up the whole time. Yes, and I like to spread my fingers nice and wide. It gives me a bigger base, which gives me a little bit more stability. And up, and if you want to add speed, by all means, go for it here. Now's your chance, half done, keep it up. Woo, there we go. What else are we doing here besides engaging our triceps? We are also engaging our core. We are also getting a hamstring stretch, keeping those legs nice and straight. Last 10, butts up even higher. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, everyone hop on up. Let's get our heart rate up. Okay, three moves today. Shoulder press jacks. I go out, out, okay? Next move, inchworms. I walk it up, I walk back, jump. Walk it out, walk back, jump. 
Last move, squat, side reach. I get low, I stay there, I go out, out, out. My hips do not move, my butt stays down the whole time. All right, shoulder press jacks, 30 seconds. Ready, set, let's go. And while you're here, make fists, really punch those fists up towards the ceiling to get into the shoulders. Yeah, there we go. Speed is up to you, but we gotta stay moving the whole time. Half done. Last 10, pick it up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Watch the back of your workspace. Inchworms, ready, set, go. Walk it out. Walk it back in. Give me a big old jump. You walk it out. You walk it in. Let me see you jump. I wanna see high. Get off those heels. Tap your ceiling, get towards that space if you can. Arms up, jump. Yes, that's it. Last 10. Mm-hmm. Awesome. We have six, five, four, go Gabe. Three, two, and one. Everyone get low. Squat, side reach. We reach, reach, reach. Getting lower the whole time. Step your toes out as far as you can. Peripheral heart action. I have as many limbs moving in directions away from my heart as I can, which causes the heart to have to push blood to those spaces and our heart rate goes up and that's exactly what we want. Reach, reach, last 10, get lower. Woo, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, come back down onto hands and knees. So we're gonna keep working our triceps today. This time it is a narrow push-up. So instead of my hands being here and my elbows splaying out to the sides and slightly back like a normal push-up, I'm gonna root my hands underneath my shoulders and my elbows stay glued in towards my body the whole time. So I press out and back down and it looks like this. If you're familiar with yoga, it's called chaturanga. I drop all the way down, press right back up. Come down, press up. Okay, try not to let your chest hit the floor. Keep those elbows, your chicken wings tucked. Okay, if you need to zoom on your knees, that's fine. Especially important that the hips don't sag out. First 40 seconds, let's go. Good. Coming into plank. Imagine your elbows are two arrows. Let them shoot straight back behind you. Press back up. And if you like to add breath, inhale to come down. Exhale, push. Inhale down. Exhale, push, check those elbows. I'm seeing a little bit of flaring here. We wanna keep them tight. These should be harder than normal push-ups because we're working a smaller set of muscles. Last 15 seconds. Get those elbows in. Mm -hmm. Okay to take them slow. Yeah. Keep it up, keep it up. Now see if your core is working for you to help take, take some of the weight off the shoulders. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Tricep stretch, right arm across the body. On knees are always okay, Chris. <laughs> That's totally fine. And Chris asked, is it okay to do them on the knees? And that is a very fair question. And it is always okay to do any of our exercises on the knees, which side? I would rather you do these on your knees and keep your elbows in than come off your knees and start to flare, okay? Come back down onto your hands. Option to lift the knees or not. Second set, three, two, one. We drop into it press up, we come down, press up. And I like to think of leading with my belly button as I drop down, not my chest. Woo, tricep mania. Good, nice Kelly. Awesome, take them slow. Diane looks great. Yes, you guys, everyone's got it. Last 10 seconds, see if you can do three more. We have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give your wrist a roll, shake them out. Good. Last upper body exercise, and we're doing our heart rate boost one more time and are gonna swap the bands out and do our question of the day. So, it is a plank kick through. I come back into plank position, I step my right foot up, and I kick my left leg through, and I step back. 
I step my left leg up, kick through, step back, okay? So you're getting the, the foot to the outer edge of the hand, kicking the other leg through, and then stepping back, okay? And whatever variation you're doing of this, I'm happy because your arms are into the floor, the muscles are getting engorged, and your arms are working, okay? So we're gonna do one minute of these, then we're gonna boost our heart rate and call it for the day with the arms. All right, come into plank in three, two, one. Let's do it. Step the right foot up, kick through, take it back. Left foot up, kick through, take it back. We've got it. Now, if you wanna add speed, by all means, add that speed. Yes, good. Now, noticing that our arms are really doing the work, so we're not letting our elbows bend. We're keeping our hands rooted into the floor, pushing the floor away actively the whole time. Half done. But let me see those big old kicks, too, because why not? Get that leg all the way up. Woo! Good. Someone's, like, dancing. Kayleen, you guys are... You're going. <laughs> Seeing legs flying. I want to get it. Last 10 seconds. Good. Arms staying active. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hop on up. 30 seconds. Shoulder press jacks. Ready, set, and go. Good. As you reach up, pull these straight arms. Crunch. Press. Press, press, yes. Woo, half done. Last 10, pick it up, pick it up. We're going into inchworms in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step to the back of your workspace. Drop the hands down to the floor. Let's go, walk it out. Walk it up, reach those arms up, big old jump. Walk it out, walk it up. Leap. Keep it up. Keep it up. Go, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, big old leap to the top. I love it. Keep going. Keep going. This is the last jump of this set. We have five, four, three, two. Hop on up. Get low. Come into that squat position. Squat, side reach. Here we go. Reach. Reach. Side to side. Open up those hips. Fully lengthen the arm out, snap. Imagine you're grabbing something, grab, grab, pull it in. Sink down even lower, butt back. Yes, whew, pick it up. Last 10. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, roll it out, shoulders. Let's take a sip of water and swap out our Band. Good job. Questions, comments, feedback, feel free to give me a shout in the chat or go ahead and unmute yourself. Yesterday, the question of the day was, if you could be any age, what age would you be? And we were ranging from zero to 180. <laughs> Today, the question is, let's see, what's a good one? We've done East Coast versus West Coast. Ah, I know a good one to get to know each other. Um, what is your family cultural heritage? Where are you from originally? Toss it in the chat or go ahead and unmute. I'll Scottish, Welsh. Scottish. John, I caught Scottish and Welsh. What was the last one? Sorry, Irish. Irish, of and course. I'm, I'm not surprised by that in the slightest bit. What else have we got? <laughs> Steve, what are you? Clinton says French and German, okay. French, Irish, Scott. French, Irish, Scott. We got a lot of Euro mutts on this. I'm one. <laughs> so he says Japanese and Hispanic. Awesome. Anyone else? This is cool. He says, a small island in the Mariana Islands. I was found floating on a coconut. It all makes sense now. <laughs> but Steve, you still have that coconut? What happened to that? 
right. Anyone else? Where are you from? Justin, where are you from? Scottish and Portuguese. Cool. Interesting. And then, taking like one more minute to answer this and then we're gonna keep going with our workout because I'm very curious. I ate the meat and drank the shoe. Jeff, Swedish and some German Irish. Okay, okay. Will, Great Britain. All right, cool. Fun. Well, now we know each other even better. <laughs> All right, let's pop those leg bands on. Take a sip of water before you start your cycle. And I know we had someone who took, I think it was AP history, some test last week. So if you want to update us how you did, we'd love to know. Um, otherwise, start your cycle. Come on up to Stan. I think you might have adjusted. I don't know. Someone else was on a I boat last I get the results week. in June. Okay. Okay. Well, if you feel like sharing in June, we'd love to know, but, but we won't put you on blast unless you want to share. <laughs> Floral and see. Yes. Quick, quick question. If if we're using a nano and we're going to do the cycle on our legs, what should be the uh, SKU that we cycle it to the max? Um, that would be. A hey, question. go ahead. This is John. Uh, whatever you usually use your nano at for your legs, uh, start it a little bit below that because uh, yes. Laurel's exercise are going to make it a little more intense. And then, if you want, maybe untether towards the end. Yeah, usually, usually is a, an interesting word to use there, John. <laughs> yeah, all right, go for it, 350, there. <laughs> Got it, thanks. Uh, and Adam, you didn't give your heritage, come on here. You can't just choose where you participate. Uh, a mud. <laughs> and you're a mud as well, okay. All right, so we've got our bands going, cycles are going. We're gonna start with calf work with a single leg heel raise. So. I'm gonna do my best, take my hands to my hips. I lift one leg off the floor and I lift my heel of the other leg up and down, up and down. So we're getting balance as well as calf work. Now, if this is too hard, you can always root the toes of the left foot into the floor and lift the heel of the right foot with the left toes planted down, okay? So let's do our best to try and challenge the balance here. I'm gonna scoot this up so you can see me a little bit better. There we go. So everyone, right foot stays planted into the floor. We either lift the left foot or come onto the big toe. First 40 seconds, we're lifting up and off that right heel. We go up and down, up and down. And if you want to grab a wall, grab a chair, grab your hip. Kayleen, you can grab your sister. <laughs> Good. And this is going to be a little bit slower because we have a full 40 seconds and that calf is going to burn out. If you need to drop the toe of the other foot, that's fine. Just try and keep moving up and down. Good. Last 10. <laughs> we have five, four, three, two, and one. Calf on fire. Let's do the other side, left leg. Try and pick your right foot off the floor. Otherwise, come onto the big toe of your right foot, 40 seconds, up and down, we're going. Mm -hmm. That cycle's working, our calves are working. And if your leg is off the floor, even your core is working just to keep you balanced here. Even if your big toe is down, you're still doing some work to keep that leg in an off kilter position. That's exactly what we want. Good, half done. Mm-hmm. Last 10. Keep moving, keep moving. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake out the legs. In my opinion, that's one of the hardest calf exercises we've done because all of our weight is on only one calf, it's a lot. Okay, heart rate up, first 30 seconds, shoulder press jacks in three, two, one, let's go. Good, doing the work with the leg bands this time. Yes, you're punching up towards the ceiling each time. Up. Up, faster, yeah. Last 10, fast as you can go. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inchworms, watch the back of your space. And go, walk it out. 
few leaps. Walk it out. Walk it in, big old jump. Woo, keep going. Making sure to breathe. Last 10, then we're going into our squat side reach. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hop it up, get your butt low, stay low, and here we go, side to side. Up, up, grabbing something, grab. See if you can sink into it even lower. Now, am I simply stepping my foot out to the side or am I really kick? Kick, yes, there we go. Sink your butt even lower. There we go, last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, okay. So a lot of the moves that we're starting to do in our workouts is we're taking combinations of moves that we're getting familiar with that and we're making them into more complicated versions of exercises because we're getting stronger and our bodies are getting more used to doing this. So this, we're gonna take a high knee curtsy to squat. So I'm gonna start with my right leg. I take a high knee, I curtsy lunge over to the left and I squat. I go up, over, squat. Only the same leg, only the right leg is working, okay? And you'll notice that my upper body stays upright the whole time I'm not flopping over, okay? So 40 seconds, starting with the right leg in three, two, one. I go high knee, curtsy, squat, up, over, out. That's the work. Let's see how we're doing. Good job, Instagram. Keep that chest up. Nice straight spine. Mm-hmm. Making sure to get your knee up in the center so that you can challenge your balance, your core while we're doing this. Give your leg a little break. Good. Nice chest. Woo, Kayleen, awesome. Sophia and Sydney working the same exact pace. Last five, four, three, two. Everybody left leg up. Other side. Curtsy, squat, up, over, out. Yes, this is set one. We're gonna take a pause and then we're gonna do set two. Yeah, there we go. Driving the butt lower and lower each time you come down. Feel those leg muscles working. And I like these. Keep going, because we're working the quads, we're working our hips, we're working our glutes, and we're working our hamstrings. Everything is working. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, shake it out. Those are great. And Kayleen was doing something that I really liked that we can add on to our second set for a challenge. She had her arms up. Now, what does that do? That means that the muscles of our legs and our core have to work harder to keep us from flopping over. So it's a little extra element of instability there. So second set, option to take your arms up, pick the right foot up off the floor. Good, we're going in three, two, one. Go over, out, up, over, out, up. And if your arms are up, I wanna see you keep them nice and straight. There's a tendency here to kind of bend and get sleepy. Reach to those fingertips. Yes, good. See how far over to the side you can go on each move. The hips and the glutes have to work a little bit harder. We are half done. Yes, Tuesday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Last 10. See if you can do maybe one more rep with even straighter arms. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Right to the other side. Get that left leg up. Time is rolling. Go over, out, up, over, out, up. And as you come into that curtsy, get that back knee on or to the floor. Good. And this is a lot of mobility too. How well can we control our own bodies even as we're tossing the leg around in different planes of motion? Kind of like when we were doing staggered push-ups. Half done. Woo! Yes, let me see where we're at. Last 10. See if you can do two more. Nice, Diane. Woo, go George. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody hands to your hips. Step the legs wide. Bend in the alternate knees. Release. 
Swing those hips. I mean, they're easier than pistol squats. <laughs> All right. We have two more heart rate boost sessions. This is one. We're going to do another exercise. Then we have two. And then we have our last two exercises. So knowing we only have two of these left, let's make them good. Overhead shoulder press jack in three, two, one. Let's go. Get that heart rate going. Feel the bands working. Nice strong fist. Punch. Punch. Yes. Half done. Woo wee. Last 10. Pick it up. Pick it up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk to the back of your mat space. Inchworms ready. Go. Walk it out. Walk it up. Jump. Make sure you're walking your arms all the way out, all the way back, big old jump at the top. Woo, get those arms working, get those legs working. Everything is working. Last 10 seconds. See if you can do two more. Let's go fast. Yes, beautiful. For five, four, three, two. Everybody up, get low. Squat side reach, here we go. Up, 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 up. We're taking a water break after this. So push yourself as hard as you can. Get really low into it. Making sure you're not rounding out the spine. Butt is back. Out. Out. Yeah, there we go. Half done. Reach. Grab. <laughs> Last 10. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep moving. Keep moving. Grab your water. Walk around. Walk backwards. Walk forwards. Keep it up, let the bands do their work. Woo, heart rate's up. All right. Next exercise, reverse lunge twist. I really like workouts that have some kind of element of twisting the spine because it's so important to what we do in our daily lives. So I take my hands behind my head. I step my right foot back over to the right, center, step it up. Left foot back, over, center, step it up. I want you to twist the same direction as you're taking the reverse lunge. So if I step one foot back, that's the way I twist. I come back through center, then I step that foot up. If you're needing more of a challenge, you take that lunge, twist, center, kick, lunge, twist, center, kick. We're doing two sets. So if you're only doing one leg, do the first leg on the first set and the second leg on the second. Otherwise, we're alternating. All right. Standing position. Hands behind the head. In three, two, one. Let's go. Back. Twist. Center. Your choice. You step or kick. And you can either switch sides or keep going. Yeah. Now, just like we've been practicing with our hands behind the head, keep those elbows wide. No making a cave. We don't want to compromise our spine just because we're working our legs. And we've been doing kicks today, both the plank, kick through, and the jack. We're practicing straightening our legs. Beautiful. Good. We're going to go right into the other side in five, four, three, two. Either switch sides or just keep doing exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Let me see an even bigger twist. Engage your core, squeeze your glutes, work towards stacking the shoulders squaring the chest off to the side wall. Awesome. Everybody is looking good. Go, Chris. Nice, John. Bonnie, that's great. Quentin's kicking my direction. Last 10. Yeah, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up. Last cardio burst of the day. 30 seconds. Shoulder punch jack. Let's go. Get those arms up. That's it. Make it faster. Woo wee. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Watch the back of your mat. Inchworms and go. 
Yes. And we know this one is, this is the last one of the day, so we can go all out and get kind of crazy. As long as your core and your glutes are engaged, I am happy, and you're protecting yourself, protecting your body, knowing your limit, and pushing to the outer edge of what's responsible, yet still kicking our own butt. Last five, four, three, two. Everybody up. Step the legs wide, wide side reach. Go. <laughs> Got hair whipping all over the place. Get even lower. Whew. Grab, grab, over, over, half done. Keep that leg active as well. Kick, kick, kick. We have eight, seven, six, come on. Five, lower, four, three, two, and one. Two more exercises, two more exercises. So we are just in a squat position. We are perfectly primed to do our next exercise. It is a squat slam. So I'm imagining that I'm holding a bag of sand, okay? I come into my squat position, I swing it back, kind of like if you were doing a kettlebell swing. I rise all the way up onto my toes, slam it down. All the way up, slam it down. So get those heels off the floor when you rise up. If you need to jump today, you can jump, you can come all the way down, up, down, okay? But the jump is not necessary. Sometimes it requires even more in strength and control of our own body only to come onto the heels and then slam, okay? 40 seconds in three, two, one. Let's do it. Up, slam, up, slam. Yeah, that's it. Woo, nice three arms on that reach. Up, down, Woo. that's it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see a lot of jumping guys. Okay, I'll take it. Last 10 seconds, keep moving, keep moving. Good, get off those heels, whichever variation we're doing. For six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands to the hips, shake it out. One more set. All right, feet are hip distance. Slam squat in three, two, one. Second set, let's go. Whoop, down, whoop, down. On that down, your spine still stays straight. I'm not foggy, even if you're jumping. Up, down. Woo, nice light jumps. Easy on the knees. We want to be careful. Quentin, awesome. You're soaring. Nice job to get that thing over your head. Yeah. Woo. Keep going, keep going, everyone. We've got 10 more seconds. Give it everything you've got. We have eight, seven. Six, nice Sam. Five, go Lily. Four, awesome Gabe. Three, two, and rest. Keep walking, keep moving. Grab a sip of water. We've got one more thing to do. And then we're coming down for core. Keep moving. Okay. We are familiar with burpees, and we have not done burpees in well over a week. So today is the day. We're gonna round out this powerful practice with one minute of burpees. Can I get a volunteer to do a burpee demo? I've done a lot of these and I know you all know how to. I made John do it last time, so he's off the hook. Does anyone else wanna demonstrate? Push up or no push up? Absolutely push up. Okay. Who is the right now? Justin. Justin, let's show us what you got. Can you see, kind of see me, my legs. Oh, we can see you. We can see your legs. All right, go for it. Yep. Give, give me like two more. There you go. Beautiful. Gabe, you're giving him flack. He volunteered to demonstrate. He's doing a good job. <laughs> awesome, Justin. Thank you. That was perfect. So. Yes, go Gators, Chris. So I'm standing up. I take my hands to the floor. I jump back, push up, jump up, hop, okay? Other alternatives, hands come to the floor. I step back, push up, step up, and either rise or hop, okay? 
We're all gonna start in a standing position. We have one minute of these. Sustainable pace. It is always okay to drop your knees for the push-up and then hop or step back up. So it's an accept fairly accessible exercise for everyone, okay? One minute, starting standing in three, two, one. Here we go. Back, push up, get it up, jump. Woo, we're moving, we're sweating. Our bands are working, our bodies are working, and hopefully our brains are working. Go, Justin, go. Thank you for the demo. <laughs> All right. We are half done. Mm -hmm. After this, we're going to do some balance. So we're going to let the heart rate slow down. Great, Gabe. Gabe, I was expecting perfect burpees because you hassled Justin. <laughs> Last 15 seconds. Even if you're tired, channel to you from 30 minutes ago. Get that same energy, that pace. Know you can push through it. I've seen all of you do it. We have 10 more seconds. See if you can do one more for six, five, four, three, two. Everybody come up to stand. Shake it out. Fantastic job. Balance time. Step your feet slightly wider than hip distance. Okay, so yesterday we practiced balance out the side with our legs. Today we're gonna practice balance a slightly different direction. We're gonna practice balance going backwards. So think about activating all the muscles of the back of the body. So I'm gonna come onto the big toe of my left foot and you can't see my big toe, but I'm on my big toe, okay? So as you do this, and we've incorporated this into some of our exercises, but we're really gonna target this just the balance sake now. So my upper body does not move, nothing from my shoulders to my hips. I lift that leg up and down, up and down. Show me what you got, 30 seconds, okay? Core stays engaged, glutes are squeezing. Don't let your back bend. Little lift of the leg. Now you'll notice my leg is nice and straight. If you're bending your knee, you're cheating, don't do it. It can be a micro lift, but it's just as important to practice lifting our leg behind us as it is in any other direction. That way, if we ever fall or something happens, there's no way we're gonna get hurt. Yeah, good, core in, grow even taller. Last 10, little lift, squeeze your butt like heck. We have five, four, three, two, pick that leg up and hold it. Keep pressing your big toe away from the body, lift as high as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now work with me here. Pull that leg in towards your body and start to kick it out and in, out and in. We have six, then we're gonna hold, five. Fine, stay straight, you can hold the hips or a wall. Four, three, good. Woo, last one, kick and hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend it in. Set it down, nice job. Come onto the big toe of your right foot. We're gonna work into the other leg. Now, if you're gonna round out your spine or you're hurting your spine, you can pitch forward a little bit. I'd rather see a pitch flat back than a scrunched upright back, okay? So lift that right leg up, down, up, down, 30 seconds. Woo! Think about the length of your leg just as much as how high you're getting it off the floor. Core is working, legs are working. Yes. That's it. Last 10. And I have my hands on my core to remind me to keep it engaged. We have five, four, three, two. Lift and hold it. Keep pushing that big toe away from you. Six, five, four, three, two. Pull the knee into the chest. Out and in, we have six. Good. See if you can find a 90 degree angle between the thigh and your belly for four, three, two, kick it straight and hold. We have eight, seven, higher, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. We're gonna do core, but we're gonna pop our bands off for our core and our stretching, because we've already done a lot of work with the bands on. 
go ahead and release your band and we're going to make our way down into our backs for our 90 seconds of core. All right. Good job, gang. Okay, so our moves for today, I call it seated clock. We've practiced keeping our spine straight. We're gonna keep doing that. So my hands count to the side. I extend my legs up, 30 seconds going to the right. I'm gonna go 30 seconds to the left. And then I have 30 seconds hollow body hold. I'm doing nothing but keeping my back pressed into the floor the whole time, okay? So. If you start to round out your spine and your clock, you can come down onto your form. I want to see a straight spine. Obviously, this is a little bit harder, even harder. You're like this, but it's really hard to keep your spine straight there. So I recommend fingers down by the sides. First 30 seconds, everyone kick your legs straight. We're going to the right, down and up. Use your core here. Woo, squeeze it in. Now keep going. As you do this, you might notice I hear a common complaint is that the hip flexors start to hurt. And that's really common because the legs are much, much, much bigger muscles than the abs. So when we ask our core to lift our legs up, our hip flexors will kick in to try and help. And eventually that goes away because our abs get stronger. Last 10. See if you can keep your ankles glued together. Five, four, three, two. Quick rest, root your feet into the floor. Good, kick them right back up. 30 seconds to the left. Whoosh. Yes. See how big you can make those circles. Speed does not matter here. We're working the muscles of the abs. We're engaging every single bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a couple people do these with bent knees, and that's fine. That's totally okay. As long as you're making those circles. Fantastic. Last 10. Woo. Chest up. Five, four, three. Two, hollow body hold. So in yoga, this is what we actually do to practice for doing a handstand, which I'm not gonna do right now because I'll flop over and hurt myself. But we're essentially mimicking a handstand on our back. Our core has to be so strong. So we're all gonna make our way down into our backs. I kick my legs up, I reach my arms forward, 30 seconds, hold here and breathe, time is going. No, I definitely don't want 30 minutes. There we go, that's the right time. Good. So I'm pressing my fingertips and my heels in opposite directions, and I'm engaging my core so much that I'm pressing my low back down. And if you can, continue to draw your arms up alongside your ears to make it even more challenging. Yes! If your back starts to lift up off the floor, just lift your legs up a little bit higher. They don't need to be so low. Last 10 seconds. Keep breathing. We can do it. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees into the chest. Give yourself a big old hug rock side to side. Awesome job. All right. Drop both knees over to the left. Try and keep both shoulders down on the floor. And drop both knees over to the right. And while you're here, you can look back over your left shoulder. And just let the upper body relax. And then pull the knees back through center. Go ahead and release the right leg. Pull the left knee into the chest. So as stretch. And then straighten that leg out. Grab the back of the shin, the knees, something. Get a big hamstring stretch. Now there's a tendency here to kind of roll off the floor. Try and keep all the upper body down. And then go ahead and release the left leg. Pull the right knee into the chest. Doing our best to keep our knee in line with our hip. We don't really want to let it open out to the elbow here. Good. And then go ahead and straighten that leg up. Grab the back wherever you can. Keep pulling toes to nose. Good. And then go ahead and release the right leg. Reach the arms up and back behind you. Start to walk both arms over to the left, keeping your butt on the floor. I call this banana stretch. Tuck your thumbs and reach over to the left. And 
and then come back through center, bring everything over to the right. And come back through center, pull the knees into the chest, rock and roll up to sit, then pop your way up to stand. Give the legs a pedal out. Last stretch, clasp your hands behind your back. Same thing we did at the beginning of our workout. Lift the arms up and off the back of the body as high as you can. See how high you can go, punching your fist back behind you. And then bend the knees, dive forward into a swimming pool. And rock side to side. Release the hands, let everything hang, shake the head, yes, mm-hmm, good job. Big old bend in the knees, roll up slowly to stand. And once you rise up, bring your hands together, give yourself a big round of applause. My gang of Euro mutts and Japanese, what was the other half, Hispanic girls. <laughs> good job, everybody. We'll be back here same Thank time tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. I had a Quick question. Uh, yeah. Um, S Steve was saying something at the beginning that I, I came in on the tail end of about the uh, using the bands for getting the lactic acid out and stuff like uh, he, he he was describing it really uh, succinctly. I okay. So what you want to do is um, uh, like right now, if your legs are burning or your your upper body is is uh, fatigued, put the bands on. Um, and it, do a very light cut cycle, okay. just relaxing. You don't have to stretch. You don't have to do anything. Just what what will happen is the limb will be engorged in blood, yeah. and then for five seconds will will release. And when it releases, the blood that includes the lactate will be whooshed out. Cool. No, don't need to do anything. Just sort of relax, watch TV, you know, uh, look at your phone, whatever you you want to do. You could do that mm -hmm. two times, three times. Um, if you had run a marathon, you would yeah. do that repeatedly until you could walk almost normally. Um, right. So uh, now some people like to have a high, start at a higher um, uh, cycle, maybe a medium or a high, and some people like low. That will be, that's totally up to you how you feel best. Got it. But, uh, cool. Just chill and then cycle two or three times. You should be okay. Awesome. All right. Thanks. All right. Take care. Bye. You too. We'll see you. Thanks, Steven.